the EP Podcast. Heard everywhere podcasts can be found, and always at the eppodcast.com. Welcome down into the EP Podcast. My name is Chris Lanuti, bellying up to my nine-foot homemade oak bar. Pour yourself a cold one, whether that be a tall drink of milk or something stronger. It's going to be a good weekend, a crisp weekend, a cold weekend, but it shouldn't be a bad weekend. This is the Weekend Update. We give you a very quick taste of everything going on in and around Evergreen Park, and then the big show comes out on Monday, 30 minutes of good, which is the EP Podcast. It's all brought to you by the First National Bank of Evergreen Park, just announcing yesterday that they will be continuing on as the official sponsor of the EP Podcast in 2021. Very excited about that. First National Bank of Evergreen Park knows that now saving money is more important than ever, and that's why they offer a number of great savings accounts and tools to meet your needs. Whether you're looking for a first savings account for your child, certificate of deposit, or a money market account, First National Bank of Evergreen Park has the right saving solutions for you. To learn more, make an appointment to meet with a banker now. BankEvergreenPark.com slash EPPod. Member FDIC. Tell them I said hello. Tell Danny over there to give you an EP Podcast car magnet. They're free. You can get them through the drive through You can get them when you walk inside. You can also order them online. Dropped off a bunch of them at people's front doors this week who are ordering those online at the EPPodcast.com. Let's get to the weekend update, and we kick it off, as always, with your weekend weather. It's going to be a chilly weekend and also some rain on Saturday. The day this show comes out on Friday the 13th. 41 degree high, no chance of rain, there'll be cloud cover, and 27 degrees overnight. Saturday, the high again, going to be in the 40s, but in the upper 40s at 49. But an 80% chance of rain, it's expected in the evening, plus winds possibly up to 20 miles an hour. And it gets windier on Sunday. Very little chance of rain, but it drops down to 43, and the gust of winds getting up into the mid to high 20s. So wear your parka when you're out supporting your local businesses this weekend. Looks like a solid week, though, after the weekend is over. Going to get in the 50s right away on Monday, and we're going to hit 60 later on in the week. Over this chilly weekend, make sure you have your EP Podcast car magnet on the back of your vehicle because I'm giving away gift cards and a free pizza at Durbin's of Evergreen Park right near 103rd and Kedzie. I checked that place out recently. They got a big tent out in front. A lot of new upgrades from the kitchen to the walls to basically everything. It's a new Durbin's out there, local business, making some upgrades right here in Evergreen Park. Make sure that magnet's on the back of your vehicle. I may surprise you this weekend. The Evergreen Park Police Department is warning folks that ruse burglaries are again on the rise. They want to make sure you're paying attention and being alert for suspicious subjects who may approach you either in public or at your home. Remember, all Village of Evergreen Park employees have village identification with them. In addition, delivery drivers, utility workers, and others will have proper ID, and you should ask for that ID. And if you're unsure, don't worry about calling the company or... Dialing 911. It is completely acceptable to pick up the phone, dial those three numbers, and tell them you are suspicious of the person on your property, on your front porch, or who has approached you. Speaking of people being approached, it was a scary story out earlier this week. A lot of us got the emails from the Evergreen Park Police Department. A child was approached, and the offender tried to lure the child into a car. The kid knew Stranger Danger, reported it to the police, and was able to get a full license plate. I spoke with a detective at the Evergreen Park Police Department who told me that the person was apprehended and charged. That's good news. But a reminder that your kids need to be paying attention at all times. (laughs) 
Bulk leaf pickup has begun again in Evergreen Park, which means that big giant vacuum cleaner truck comes along and grabs the leaves right off the curb. The village wants you to know that it is not a set schedule, so there's no way to know when to get the leaves out there. My 12-year-old pushed all the leaves out into the street just recently when it was really nice outside. We got a storm, everything got pushed back onto the property. For that reason, the village still recommends that you fill up that big green yard waste container first. But if you're like me and you just like blowing leaves into the street, they are picking them up at random times. Some news and notes around the village Wine and Sip Paint Night, still on for Thursday, December the 3rd, 6 p.m. to 9 p.m. at the Community Center, $35. Paint supplies and, of course, wine. Make your reservation at the Community Center, 3450 West 97th Street. Remember, this Sunday and every Sunday, the Candlelight Review put on by the Evergreen Park Recreation Department Candlelight Theater, a 30-minute variety show is available on the Village website from 7 p.m. until midnight with repeats on Wednesday evenings. Get your taste of local theater at evergreenpark-ill.com. They are still taking signups for the family turkey shoot put on by the youth department. It's happening on Saturday, November the 21st at the Activity Center, 3220 West 98th Street, 3 p.m. It's only six bucks a team. If you want more info, call our friend Paisha Allen, 708-229-3377. And there is a village board meeting coming up this Monday evening, the 16th. Remember, all the audio is available on the village website. Veterans Day just passed, but that does not mean you cannot help a local veteran, especially the homeless veterans in our area. They are still taking donations over at Yukich Field this Saturday and next Saturday. 10 a.m. to 1 p.m., they're looking for any toiletry donations. That's anything from body wash, deodorant, hand soap, to mask. Anything you would keep in your bathroom, anything that you would use for self-care, they're looking for any donations you can give anytime between 10 a.m. and 1 p.m. this Saturday and next Saturday. On Thursday night's live EP podcast show, happens every Thursday night, 7 to 8 p.m., the EP podcast is joined by several guests, one of them, Dr. David Beckman, our good friend and doctor over at Family First Medical Group, you've heard him many times before, he is one of three offices, three locations that are giving out COVID testing. You can get info from him at yourffmg.com. The Evergreen Care Center at 9760 South Kedzie is also giving out COVID tests, and Southwest Urgent Care is doing that at 2955 West 95th Street, plus all CVS pharmacies are available. We asked the doc a ton of questions, and the majority of that interview is going to be on Monday's EP podcast, but I want to share a little bit with you right here in the weekend update. In 60 seconds, get the doc's thoughts on this new vaccine we've all been hearing about this week and what you should do if you have to go visit family but can't quarantine for 14 days leading up to it. That's in 60 seconds right here on the EP podcast, found everywhere podcasts can be found and always at the EPPodcast.com. You've heard us talk about Cool Cloud's Vapor Shop, local Evergreen Park business that helps people stop smoking. In fact, they've been around right here in Evergreen Park since 2014, and they are open and ready now to help smokers get off of cigarettes with a $30 starter kit. A wide range of devices are available. Try a different flavor or a nicotine strength. And right now they're offering curbside pickup, delivery, and shipping options. Cool Clouds also has a growing selection of CBD products and recreational cannabis accessories. First time customers, mention the EP podcast for 20% off your first purchase when you sign up for the rewards program. With gift certificates available, get one now for the smoker you want to get off cigarettes. Cool Clouds Vapor Shop, 3837 West 95th Street in Evergreen Park. Age verification is required, must be 21. Remember, quitting smoking is hard. Lucky for you, there's Cool Clouds Vapor Shop. Two real quick questions for you. Here's the first one before I get to the big one about the vaccine. The first one is my wife. We had a sad moment here today. Her her grandfather passed away this morning, uh, passed away from cancer. And uh, it's been a kind of a rough day here in the Lanuti house. And she's got a lot of family members that are so afraid of catching COVID that her grandmother may be basically on her own here going through this. Mm. And my wife wants to get out and help her grandma. Mm. Now, she has not been quarantined sitting inside the house. Yeah, she's working from home. But 
her husband has people over to do podcasts and uh, we go out from time to time to restaurants and she wants to make sure that grandma's safe. I- mm-hmm. If she didn't want to have to wait a full 14 days, how long do you think she'd have to stay away from people and I'd have to be like super extra good and locked down before she could take some sort of a test, prove she doesn't have it, and uh, and uh, scurry out to West Virginia for her grandmother? Because I think a lot of people wonder yeah. this question because the holidays are coming up yeah. and a lot of people run right. into these kind of situations. How do you... How would you, would, uh, as you as a doctor, if somebody needed to get to somebody in a situation like that, how would you handle that? Yeah. So first of all, my condolences to, to your wife. And if you uh, stay away from the general public um, for five to seven days, you don't have contact with anyone else, you can do a rapid test uh, at that five to seven day mark. And if that test is negative, uh, then you should consider yourself um, safe and you can go and travel. And when you are traveling, trying to, you know, wear, wear an N95 mask when you're on the airplane, um, making sure that you're washing your hands really well um, at all points. And, uh, and I think that should, be, uh, that should be as good as you can get there. That's great advice because I think that we all have these things that happen. We have loved ones that die. We have emergencies that we have to get to. And we all, I think, at the beginning of this thought like, ah, this will be over in a couple of months and it's still going on. So now let's talk about the length of how this is going to go because I see this Mm -hmm. vaccine and I get excited. I honestly Mm -hmm. do. Like to me, I'm like, give it to all the old people and the at-risk people and let the rest of us get out there and roll the dice and I'll get my vaccine when I'm ready to get my vaccine because I'm not nervous. Now, some people think I'm a jerk for saying that, but I've been very safe. Wear my mask everywhere I go. Make sure I mask up when I'm around people that are at risk. Somebody, like I always ask any guest that comes down here, I'm wearing the mask when they walk in. I, 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 I want to make sure that I'm safe for other people, but I myself look at the stats and I'm not as nervous about it and I'm not nervous about it with my kids. So- Mm-hmm. What do you think about this vaccine that just was announced by the Pfizer Corporation? Does that excite you or is it hype? Like as a doctor, when you read about that, how did you feel and how do you feel right now? Uh, certainly it's it's very, um, it's, I'm cautiously optimistic about it. I think that when you, when you talk about a vaccine and especially a vaccine for a coronavirus and you're talking about um an efficacy rate of 90%, that's, uh, that's huge. I mean, that's huge. That's a lot uh, larger than anyone would expect. Um, we, we have to be cautious about it, though, because we don't have a whole lot of data yet um, on, the, uh, on the number of cases. So, you know, there are 40,000 patients and only 94 cases of COVID among those patients. So it is a small number of cases that you're basing that efficacy rate on. And it's also a very short period of time. I mean, you're, you're only talking about data after a month of the vaccine. So we don't know how long that lasts. Um, you know, does it last several months? Does it last a year? We don't know that. We know that at least it's probably going to be a two part, uh, series, a two vaccine series that is going to need to be administered. Um, And then the other thing that we don't know uh, is, does it prevent severe COVID? Um, We don't know anything about the the efficacy in terms of preventing severe cases of COVID or preventing hospitalizations. And we also don't know whether the vaccine will help people who are um, asymptomatic, help prevent them from spreading the virus. Because Clearly, that would be the biggest win of all, because if you could just vaccinate everyone that uh, whether they're symptomatic or not, whether they're high risk or not, then you could really slow the spread of people that may be uh, passing the virus without having any symptoms. But I do agree with you, Chris, that the way that that vaccine should roll out is you administer it to people that are 60, 65 or older uh, patients that have multiple medical problems, frontline healthcare workers, if they if they want to take that, um, and then you know anyone else that wants to get the vaccine after that. Um, but it it is so I'd say it's very encouraging as an initial uh, first step. 
we need to see more information, and I'm sure we will in the next month. Um, but the hope is that uh, in early, uh, you know, early January, February, maybe March, that that's something that can be distributed to more of the population at large. One final question before I let you go. If I wanted to invest money, should I invest it in a company that's making masks or should I be like, this is all going to be over in a year? Tell me. No, I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't invest in a mask. Don't invest company. in mask companies because yeah. it's going to be over sooner than later. That's good yeah. news. I'm happy to hear that. Dr. David Beckman, Family First Medical Group, yourffmg.com, located over at 9730 Southwestern Avenue in Suite 225. You will hear more from him on Monday on this program. Fascinating stuff. We talked a lot on Thursday live on the EP podcast. One of the most interesting things he talks about and a reason to listen on Monday you hear about all these rising cases. He says it's very different, though, this time compared to last time based upon the condition of folks in the hospitals and how well prepared they are this time around with the fall surge. Great stuff. Listen on Monday. Have a great weekend. Get that EP podcast car magnet on the back of the vehicle if you haven't yet. First National Bank of Evergreen Park has them for free over at 97th and Pulaski. Get them online at the eppodcast.com. I'll be out. Maybe I'll see you. It's the EP Podcast. Have a great weekend, everybody. Bye-bye. Look at all those people in this great suburb driving down 95th and Ked Z. What a great place. It's called Evergreen Park, but we know it better as the EP. We're known for more than just the Unabomber. Remember Ted Kaczynski? You guys might even remember that big old rooster on 95th Street. It's all part of EP's history. So listen up to the EP podcast. You might be asking why. Because we talk about all things and we celebrate all the great things in the 60805. It's the EP podcast. All things Evergreen Park. It's the EP Podcast. Evergreen Park. <laughs>